My parents had lifelong friends uh, whose children and I were very close friends and still are. Uh, the man was uh, the president of a large accounting firm in the community and was doing bank audits and for the church and all those things. The wealthy people in the city, not ourselves but others, uh, would count on him and his staff to do a good job in their tax preparation. So he was a highly respected man. But he was a good close friend of my dad. And one day in a bank entry area, he accosted me and said, John, I'm going to tell you something that I don't want you to tell anybody else, but I want you to know something that happened to me one time and some of my men. And he described an event which included a trip to and from a bank nearby, and they were driving down the road. It was daylight, uh, late in the day apparently, and uh, as they were driving, four of them in the car, they saw ahead of them, he says, a strange discoid object move slowly across the road ahead of them. Not right close, but far enough away, but close enough that they could see its description. And then it apparently disappeared or went away. And he said, I know what you're doing is important. So don't tell anybody I told you that, but I just want to let you know. A number of years later, I served for many, about 27 years on the board of trustees of the local public library, a very nice library. And this uh, lady who was at the time serving as the director of the library stopped me after a meeting one time and said, John, I'd like to tell you something that I've never told you. She said, I know you're interested in the UFO phenomenon. And she said, I one time when Bob was coming home from a bank audit uh, with this other gentleman that I was referring to. Uh, he said, uh, she said he walked in the door and she said uh, he looked just white as a sheet. She said, well, what happened to you? And he said, you'll never believe what I just saw. And he just, she described to me what he had told her and it was the same thing that my father's friend, the accountant, had told me. Same description. Two different times, two different people, they had no collusion at all in presenting me with that information. And I'm convinced that uh, they both saw something very strange. And the other two men in the car as well, I never was able to find them and corroborate their report. That kind of sealed me on this thing.